Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration, Crestoria 2, and AAI Vehicles. So, I've done, like I said, I have researched everything we need to make uh, the superior inserters. Also, we can make the superior transport belt. And you might already notice over here that we already have superior transport belt and superior inserters in our inventory. Now, setting this stuff up over here in the mall, um, yeah, that was not really spectacular. I mean, you know how this mall works. We just put in the recipe, we set up the request to chest, and everything like that just comes from wherever we make it. We already make almost everything in here that we need to. The only thing that we did not make in here was the heavy bearing over here. But now we are making it over here in the base as well. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, and of course, the other thing we needed was the arrow frame. And I just noticed that we can actually place another um, spot up there where we can make even more arrow frame. And why not make more arrow frame? Good. Copy all of this over. Um, yeah, have this, have that. Yeah, your crafting speed is terrible. Um, we could put a beacon over here, but you know what? Just, just start making some arrow frame. Uh, we already got a whole bunch of it in storage over here now that we could now immediately go on and start making the better uh low density structure recipe with arrow frame uh but we're just gonna go things one step at a time if you remember we still have the smelter down here and we still have the smelter set up over here for uh glass silicon and brick and these over here are missing a very crucial part and that is the superior inserter so we are going to be putting some of those in there. Also, if possible, I would like to pick up... We are completely out of everything. How are we out of speed modules 3? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Machine, what are you doing over there? Uh, I mean, you are a bit on the slow side. And I should have speed modules sitting around. You are make. Let's have a look over here real quick. Speed. Over the last 10 minutes, speed modules 3... Okay, over the last 20 minutes, I think this is when I came back and picked up a whole bunch of stuff and suddenly production went up again. Uh, but production seems to be stable for most of it. Hmm. Weird. Uh, I guess we're going to be fine with that then. Yeah, we don't really need to do super duper duper speed module. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> we don't really need to super duper speed module the uh foundry yet but at some point in time it would be nice to give the foundry as much speed as we can good here we go that was all these are all these superior long inserters there we go superior long inserters look at these over here they have they're basically stack inserters that go 50 percent faster if you compare them to over here these over here have a rotation speed over there where my finger is not heading uh, a rotation speed of 864 degrees per second. That is more or less exactly 2.4 insertions per second. You multiply that with the hand stack size, and you can really tell that this thing over here inserts 24 items per second. These over here have a rotation speed of 1,296 degrees per second. That is equivalent to 3.6 insertions per second times 10 uh for the stack size and suddenly we get 36 items per second which is exactly what we need over here to fill up this machine so i'm very happy with that uh the only thing we're a little bit unhappy about is yeah the amount of speed modes that we have over here you know what we could do we could go all the way up to the old foundry and start cannibalizing some of the speed modules out of there uh because the old foundry we're probably going to get rid of it even though i really really liked the iphone shaped diagonal um, smelt reset up over here. Yeah, it's, it's gonna get canned. <laughs> We're gonna give it the can. Uh, these are all speed tree modules. That's fine. Even speed tree modules will be absolutely amazing. Um, and speed tree modules are still better than no speed modules whatsoever. So we're gonna cannibalize this. We're gonna cannibalize everything, every station that is decommissioned. Which is technically also this one. Because, well, this is where we make glass. And, well... We have a new glass smelter down in the south. Then the copper station over here already has been decommissioned. We still have a whole bunch of the old copper trains that we need to, well, <laughs> reorganize. 
So at some point in time, we will have to do that as well. Uh, this is another iron plate train. Yeah. Not required anymore. Pick it all up, please. There we go. There we go. Then, ooh, very old beacons. Look at those. Yes, pick those up as well. It's kind of hoping that we might be finding some. Oh, yes, there we go. Some speed five modules. Um, now, we're kind of picking up these from a machine that actually still needs them. But you know what? I'm just going to risk it. We've got so much uh, rare metals in storage that before the time... Okay. Usually before the time that we actually run out of them, we should have set up the new rare metal smeltery. And look at that. We're now completely full of speed modules. Let's go back down south and put them to a use. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, then, yeah, speaking of rare metals, that is one of the foundries we still have to put in. Um, we didn't really do the rare metal foundry straight away when we did the iron and copper one. Main reason is it uses a different liquid for refining. These over here run on sulfuric acid, and the rare metals runs on hydrochloric acid. Also, you might remember this thing over here. This used to be uh, an empty uh, refining station at the moment. I've just set this one to copper because I do think that we need more copper than we need iron, especially since we don't need or we do not use the we are not going to use the iron train to feed up the steel train because the steel train basically does it all on its own. There we go. All right, give these things some speed. There we go. Speed, 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 speed. Fifty-two crafting speed. We can even give these some more pow. There we go. Now, crafting speed is 50, but productivity is 60. That is excellent. And you are not. Teamer S. Demerol Big Deffy. <laughs> what an amazing name. No, you are going to be the 28 stone requester. And we only have one train for that. And you are not being filled. Oh, no, you are being filled up. Never mind. You're partially being filled up. Uh, no, you are actually being filled up. Perfect. So, he should be coming over soon. We do want to set a limit over here of two trains. There we go. And this thing over here is not Logan Francois Bleaker. No. This over here, I don't think we have it set up as an actual station yet. Well, we, we do have it, but I kind of want to move over to the new naming scheme, or the new old naming scheme in this case. Uh, this is going to be the 2-8 brick, or the brick 2-8 Provider. There we go. Two of these. We do already have one of those. Um, oh, God. Where is it? <laughs> it could be anywhere. Uh, put on the station names, please. Oh, this one is called 28 Requester. Wait. Sand Requester. <laughs> I didn't see the sand. Uh, silicon stone brick requested. There we go. No, you are going to be re renamed to uh, this requester. Uh, and then we got one more 2 8 stone provider. And where did that thing come from? That thing came from over here somewhere. Uh, there it is. That's a new name. Good. Stone Brick Requester is also over here. Why is there a Stone Brick Requester over here? Oh, for the circuits. Yes, of course. Rename you as well. Perfect. And now he should have his whole schedule set up correctly. Could you go to the new provider? Are you stuck? He's just stuck. Um, yeah, Go there. Off you go. Go to the provider, which is now sitting all the way over here. Excellent. Good. Which means that we can start filling up a train over here soon. We are still missing the Vulcanite. Oh, ha! <laughs> well, that's the thing we need to do. Uh, I'm just going to split off Vulcanite from over here. I think it will be fine. Here we go. Good. My inventory is also utterly and utterly full. Um... I don't think I need the signal transmitter on me. There we go. And then here, 
dump this and that should be fine. So he's now waiting to be filled up. So we need to wait on our stone train over here. He is going somewhere. He's going over there. Yeah, no, actually, don't do that. This station over here, closed. He is now going exactly where I need him to go. Perfect. So we can wait for him over here. This place over here is also ready to go. Uh, Vulcanite stone will be turned into eight stone, will be turned into six stone bricks. However, with productivity bonuses on top of that, we get 60% on top. That means we get another 3.6 stone on top. So we turn that into 9.6 stone brick. Good. This train over here is also partially full. Uh, he's now... The train over here is now not balanced. That's fine. We don't need to balance trains anymore. So having a system that does, does, not, does not require unbalanced trains is, in my opinion, I think... Oh, actually, never mind. This system is a balanced system train. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue. <laughs> hmm. The easiest way to fix this real quick would be to do the following. Um, all of this in there. Mm. Yeah, could you, could you come back later? And then... Pick up all the stone. There we go. Now the now the train is heated. Um, yeah. Let's do some kind of. Well, that didn't work. There we go. You can put that in there. Put that in there. Pick up this. There we go. Good. Good God. <laughs> the amount of information over there. Uh, okay, he's coming back now. Make a move. These trains should now be balanced. It's kind of hard to tell. It's all 7.4 thousand in each of these, but they should be balanced. If not, so be it. Uh, then we just have an unbalanced brick train. I mean, come on. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Good, 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 good. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Excellent day. Uh, the bricks over here, we might just use them to pave something. Uh, I'm just going to leave them over there for a while. Good, but that is now the brick train over here working as expected. Uh, now, we got a whole bunch more speed modules. So let's put these in here real quick so that we can get rid of them. Not the best speed modules we want to have, but these over here will still have a significant effect on these machines, uh, which will make them fast enough for whatever we need right now. Uh, and then we need to set up the two other things. One of the other things is going to be uh, making glass. There we go. That's the thing that we're going to be doing over there. And the other thing is going to be making silicon. There we go. Silicon is also one of those things that we do need quite a lot of. Uh, and this over here will do lovely. Good. So, let's start over here. It's again, timer as Dimmerill. Big Deathly. A big Deffy. Uh, sand. You are going to be your classic 2-8 Sand requester. Uh, limit 2. I'm actually amazed that no train is trying to make it way, make its way over. Uh, because all of these trains are partially full. Okay. And... I don't really want to deal with the sand situation again. Um, and then glass. We don't have a good glass station yet. So, again, we are going to go over here. Glass. Two. Eight. Provider. Here we go. And then we're just going to override the old one. Where is that thing? He's over here. Oh, there he is. Oh, you are actually being filled up at the moment. What the hell? Um, so, glass provider. That is this one. We're just going to rename you real quick. And there it is. Glass. You are the glass provider. Done. Which also renames him. And then the glass requester. How many glass requesters do we have? Um, there is one... Right over here. I guess we do have a couple of these. Yeah, we've got three of these. Uh, you are going to become the glass uh, 2-8 requester. And now let's find the remaining glass stations. It would be nice. Maybe, maybe there's a way to do that. But it would be nice to find a way to rename all the stations at once. Uh, but we can also do it the old school way. 
glass, glass, glass. Is it this one? No, it's copper plate. This one? Glass. To a glass requester. And then the final one. This one. Uh, that's the wrong button. Um, here we go. Good. And now this train over here has been renamed to the correct station. Uh, could you just start driving over here and then go back to a provider? This station over here, it's closed. This station over here, it's closed as well. You. You are going to a 28 cent requester, which is this one over there. Could you maybe go over here so that we can see you in action over here as well? Good. Uh, and then the final step over here is going to be... Uh, this is going to be silicon. Where's my silicone? There we go. Silicone. Uh, provider. Which also means that we need a quartz. I think we already have this one. Yes, yeah, so a quartz to a requester. There we go. Good. Glass has arrived. Yeah, this train is balanced, mostly balanced, almost balanced, and it's slightly unbalanced. I think that will be a thing that, that will be happening all the times. Uh, it'll be fine. And here comes the old train. Uh, a thing that we are missing over here, yet again. Mm, and this time around, we're gonna do it like this. There we go. Uh, we do need uh, some Vulcanite over here. I do hope that we get at least enough Vulcanite. We will see. But there we go. Now we also make glass over here in the new refinery. Uh, and then final step, of course, is... One more of these. I do hope I have enough red belt on me. I don't think I have. I have <laughs> just about enough. Um, perfect. And this over here will be silicon. Uh, let's have a look at you. You are sitting at this provider over here. You are actually being filled up. Okay. Are we still using this facility? Didn't I make a new facility all the way over here? I did. Um, so why is this machine over here still working? Um. I kind of have the feeling that we just still fed it up. I have no clue. <laughs> and you know what? There we go. Pick these up, please. Um, all of these. The only thing we're going to do with this stone over here is we're going to put it on some trains. And that's it. I think this over here is also the 2.8 mine provider. Yep. Both of these are the 2.8 mine provider. We, we we do not need any more stone in here. So we can let this thing over here just, just, just dry out. Then we can pick it up. Um, which means that this one over here... Um, well, he's almost full, so he will then come over to us. That is also fine as well. Good. Uh, and then... Oh, silicon provider. Yeah, that thing is not working yet. Um, silicon. That's over here. Uh, we're going to rename you to the silicon 2.8 provider. Done. And then we're obviously going to need a silicon requester. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's two of them going around. That's a sulfur. That is plastic. Eh. Biomatter, rocket fuel. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay, there is a silicon re request in here. I just misclicked everywhere. Good. Um, no, silicone provider. No, silicon requester and then there's one more out there silicone requester there it is and that's going to be this one yes this one uh silicone requester good and you are ready to go uh let's have a look at you this station over here terminated terminated then you just drive say over here and then come over to where this place is. Excellent. Good. Looking at all the red lights over here, we can already see. That's fine. That almost everything in the smelter over here on the right side is closed down. One exception is um, this uh, rare metal making machine over here. 
Uh, the steel's completely closed down. Uh, we do maybe also want to do a similar setup for... Does this thing also eat? Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> the roast also needs Vulcanite. That's good to know. Um, but yeah, the, the, the left side over here we still need to do. And that's a thing we should be working on soon. There we go. So now the bottom part of this machine over here is also working as intended. These machines when operating eat 30 megawatts. If they are fully upgraded, they eat 47 megawatts. If they're fully, fully upgraded, they will eat probably even more. I love it. Good, good, good. So that means we need to make more of these. Um, and now we need to find a spot for this. Now we could just mirror this and put it over there. I might do that. Mm, we also need to think about expanding a bit. Uh, we do also... Look at this one. Uh, we've got the T-junction over here. And we're not really doing much with this one. Uh, we could just make another big small thing block right over there. And we can probably copy-paste most of this over. Uh, probably even all of it. Um, the steel one... Yeah, the, the steel one is basically rare earth metals, just uh, same recipe as steel. Um, and even if the ratio doesn't fit too well, doesn't matter. The efficiency or the productivity bonus will help us out over there in the end. Good. Uh, Science-wise, what's the next big thing we have to do in science? Now, currently I'm just researching some, some, some things that are useful, uh, but we might still need something that we really, really want. Uh, let's have a look. Radio telescope. Okay, this is all the things that we're going to need for tier 3 science. Uh, is there anything in here? Yes, there is the construction pylon. We want this one. I took it out uh, after a while. The supercharger is in it. Now, the supercharger over here is a rubble charger. It's also a very big rubble port or... Um, can charge up to 64 robots at a time at high speed. Structure max power draw is a gigawatt. <laughs> oh my. Uh, I kind of want to see that, to be perfectly honest. Um, oh, it's the... Huh. The pylon substation is not a requirement for the construction pylon? Interesting. Wait, but, but this thing... Distributes electrical energy and extends construction area. 64 tile connection range. So, do you? And logistic connection distance, supply area. We have to check these things out. Yeah, make the other pylon as well. We're just going to check them out. We're going to make them, and then we're going to check them out. Then, we also got the space probe rocket silo over here. A space-based rocket silo for launching space probes can also be used to launch satellites cheaply. Now, the space probe over here, I think we need that later on for something. <laughs> We're going to get it. Uh, let's have a look at Informatron, space probes. Um, so, spaceships, we are, at some point in time, we will get to spaceships, uh, spaceships and then we're going to read all of this, and then we're going to try to understand all of this. Uh, launching satellites, space probes. The space, space, space probe rocket silo... <laughs> It's not a satellite rocket silo, but it's designed for use in space. Instead of building rockets, it launches pre-built satellites, pre-built uh, space satellites, space probe rockets. A space probe rocket is much cheaper than a normal satellite rocket, and it can be pre-assembled in a manufacturing hub instead of bringing resources to the rocket silo. A space probe rocket uh, silo can also launch satellites cheaply, but can also launch more specialized probes and collect and collectors from specific locations in space. I have no clue what this text is trying to tell me over here, but that will be fine. Um, the game is still running in the background oh, while well, we read the format wrong. That's good. Zone discovery. Now, that's also a thing. Um, I've also got this, this one thing in my mind. We've already found another zone. We've already found, if we take a look at our interstellar map, our neighboring star, Nalara. And I want to discover Nalara. I want to know what kind of planets are over there. So I kind of want to know or try to figure out or read up in this case. How do we get over to Nalara? Because if you have a look over here, there's a lot of stars, planets, moons, asteroid belts, and asteroid fields in this area of space that can be discovered. 
You can launch a navigation satellite to discover a random planet, moon, or asteroid belt in the same star system that the satellite was launched from. If there's nothing else to discover in that system, then it can discover new stars instead, but cannot discover anything uh, orbiting those stars or anything deep in space. Uh, you can use, and then zone discovery, you can use space telescopes to look for new zones to discover. This is achieved through zone discovery research. You know what? Let's do one of those. Let's just get, um, oh, then I have to kick all of this out again. Oh, that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I need to install the mod so that they can move the queue over there. But there is zone discovery over here. Uh, there's also targeted zone discovery over here. But let's just go for this one. Zone discovery. Oh! So, we got a new planet. Cloto. Oh, God, not Cloto. Where the fuck is Cloto? <laughs> also, if you're from the Netherlands, yes, I know. Um, Cloto. Cloto? Excuse me, where? Um. It's Parrot, it's not Ara. Wait, did that just. Maybe, maybe the map didn't update. Um. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so what do we have over here? It's 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 a planet. It has a whole bunch of random stuff. Um, that's all fine. That's all fine. So big question: Can we now fly over to Cloto? And if we can, how much rocket fuel does that eat? Also, I want to do this one more time. <laughs> I'm kind of getting greedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pressing a button to get free stuff, and I just go like, press it again, press it again. Uh, there we go. This is a stone planet. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we get lucky. <laughs> oh, I'm flying over way too far. Uh, let's have a look at our space or at our outpost rocket. We can and uh, can let's have a look if we can just nudge it over. Where's that thing? It's over here. It's this rocket. Uh, this one is the one we make for Space Outpost, that's fine. We don't want to go to Leash, we want to go to... Oh yes, we can choose them. Oh god, that's a lot of rocket fuel we need. <laughs> 230,000? 230,000. Um, let's divide that by 50 real quick. Um, divide it by 50. That's 4,600 units of rocket fuel. Uh, rocket fuel. How good does that stack? I, I just want to see if we can even put enough rocket fuel on a rocket to fly back and forth. Rocket fuel stack size is still 10. That's 460 stacks of rocket fuel. Answer is, what the fuck? Um, no. <laughs> um, interesting. So, it's already not feasible for us to do something like, um, if we do like inter, inter, intersolar transport, we do not want to move rocket fuel across intersolar transport. We do probably want to shoot a rocket from A to B, and then from B to A, or from, from star A to star B, and from star B to star A. Uh, but we do not want to do the flip-flop mechanic where we shoot... Um, What's it called again? Where we shoot rocket fuel back and forth. So if we want to expand over to Nalara, we will need to make some kind of home base over here. Okay. Um, oof. <laughs> and zone discovery over here, you can adjust the zone discovery. That's over here. You can basically tell the research to like, give me something like this. Give me something like that. Give me something that is maybe this or maybe that. Um, I would prefer to give me like give me a planet that has like um novice like um novice like um, um preferences because then I could make another outpost over there that makes everything that we need, but that also kind of already sounds like we are going to start over again. So what is the incentive for me to go out to another star? Let's open up Informatron again. Uh, let's have another look at this. Yeah, today is probably going to be a little bit of a story episode. 
<laughs> targeted zone discovery research is the same as basic research, but you have to select the group preference below. Uh, it looks in areas more likely for that research to occur, so you're more likely to discover a zone with that. Keep in mind that the planet can't be discovered before discovering its star, and a moon can't be discovered before discovering its planets. Okay. So, you know what? Yeah, do this a couple times more. One, two, three. Let's have a look at the map again. There we go. Wait, that's a moon. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, I thought it said that we can only find moons once we are in the system, but no, 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 we, we can only find moons once we have found the, the, the home planet. Okay, 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 I understand. Scandy, full of iridite, okay. Uh, Vox Nova, hmm. <laughs> full of rare metals, look at that. Ooh, there's beryllium. Ooh, I thought really most of the thing you can only get in asteroids. Oh, now it's getting interesting. Uh, and this thing over here is mineral water. That's fine. Uh, this is a whole bunch of crinites. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, beryllium. Yeah, beryl. Did I just miss that we have beryllium like? On the ground here as well. <laughs> Just never never noticed. Or is that maybe actually a... F oh, nah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> never mind. Um, I must have ignored that. Uh, oh, yeah, Phanatos. Look at this one. Okay. These do get more expensive over time, but you know what? Yeah, give me another. Give me another match. <laughs> Oh, we can also discover stars. Ooh. That's nice. Okay, let's go back to the interstellar map. Uh, we now also discovered Ariel over here. With a planet over there. Uh, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> this looks like a lovely planet. It's full of uranium. Uh, by the threat, none. I wonder why. <laughs> And oh, I, I just want to take this whole planet and turn it into one big nuclear power plant. Okay, now Lara over here, we got a whole bunch of Zomble. Look at that name, Zomble. <laughs> Full of beryllium. Wait, did we already see this one? Um, also, pretty, pretty hostile. Uh, Tartarus, Vitamaline, Bartometeors, uh, and stuff like that. I'm not really seeing anything interesting in here yet. And I'm, again, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like, why do we want to go all the way over here? And ooh, <laughs> I don't think we have a pure cryonite planet on the other side. Uh, but I do like that we are discovering random new planets. Oh, did I ever? I think I did. At some point in time, I think I accidentally opened up the surface over here. Good. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, something's being eaten. Yeah, that's fine as well. Good. So, um, I guess I will have to figure out what we what what the focus for the um, map will be soon. Um, I guess it will also tell me at some point in time uh, when we go through the research tree that we need something specific. I do know that there's one ore that we can't get anywhere anytime soon unless we look for it. Let me see if we can find it. Uh, Nacrium, I think it is. And that thing starts the yeah, anacrium processing over here. Um, turning the mysterious deep space nacrium crystal into nacrium, a metal like material with unusual space time interactions. So, nacrium, uh, that's something that we get from nacrium. And nacrium is something that we can only find in deep space. It's also the space probe over here. Okay, I see. Uh, we cannot really research that. So, is there also a... There we go. Deep Space Zone Discovery. Ah. 
Search for interesting areas of deep, deep interstellar space. Asteroid fields can have a lot of unique and viable resources. I think this is the thing we want to get. What is this? Oh, yeah. Deep space transport belts. I forgot they exist as well. Are they any faster? Uh, these are 64 items per second. Oh, God. No, please don't. <laughs> And then, of course, at some point in time, we're going to go over to Deep Space Science. And Deep Space Science is... Yeah, that's... Okay, that already requires Nacrium. So that is then the end of all of this. Okay, so the objective over here, and we can already see... Yeah, this, this, is this containing everything? Almost. Uh, let's see, Tier 4 Science is over here. Blue... Purple, energy, and green. And then tier three science is over here. Yeah, this is everything. So this is our target at the moment, I guess. Get all the way down here to tier four science. Good, 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 good. Okay, <laughs> I have refocused my mind on what is to do. So the objective is going to be clear. We are just going to soldier on uh, and going to go to tier three science, then tier four science, and then try to get access to the Naquium. And once we get access to the Naquium, we can do Deep Space. And once we're done with Deep Space, I think then there's a little bit more of the Crestoria 2 endgame we have to put on top of that. Uh, and then technically we are finished, but there are still some things we need to do. Also, we can build a spaceship at some point in time. And building a spaceship is, you basically build a spaceship out of walls on the ground. Special walls on the ground. Uh, and I do want to see how that thing looks and behaves. Good. So that will be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for, for being so supportive these last couple of days. If you do want to support the channel even more, every like, every comment, every follow, every subscription follow is, is, is Twitch, sorry, <laughs> does help me out tremendously getting picked up by the YouTube algorithm and being propagated to more viewers out there. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where I do even more Factorio they are billions, GTFO, Rim Worlds, you name it. We play a lot of games over there. So get your bumps over there, check it out for yourself. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening. And until next time, see you around.